Hello folks, hope you are doing well. So today in this video, we will be seeing link list in data structure. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll look into the basics of link list. So this is our single link list. So it can consist of multiple nodes. So here we can see there are four nodes in our single link list. So what this node consists of? So what this particular node is consists of, you see. So each node has data and the addresses in it. So what this data is, it contains the actual data and what these addresses are. So it contains the addresses of the next node. So we're going to see in that in the next slide. All right. So what are these addresses actually? So say, for example, this is our first node and it has an address that refers to the next node. Say, for example, this node is denoted, denoted by 4800. That's going to reference to the 4900. That is for the second node. So this way, we're going to link all the nodes together in our list. So that's why it, it is called singly link list. Uh, one of the other most important thing here to mention is that head and tails. That is one of the most important thing that we're going to use here. So usually in link list, the first node is reference to the head and the last node in the link list is going to reference to the tail. So that way we can manipulate our data and we can add next uh, item to end of our list. So that we're going to see in our real world example uh, that we are going to see next. Before that, let's see what are the types of link list we have. So first is single link list. In single link list, the navigation is forward only. In double link list, uh, in this, the forward and the backward navigation is possible. And the third item that is circular link list. So this name itself suggests that last element is linked to the first element. So we can use this list in circular, circular manner. All right, moving forward. So we're going to see the demo uh, and we're simply going to create a simple uh, song playlist demo. And then we're going to uh, see that in the Python. All right. I hope this is visible now. All right. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to do is that we're just going to define a song class to represent a single song in the playlist. So let's define the class song. So whenever you are writing any code or something, you have to write a doc string so that any other developer who is using your code or working on uh, that particular project, then he or she can understand what exactly you want to uh, create this method for or something. So always make sure that you write the doc string. So it should not be like very lengthy or something. So usually doc string is like about uh, 50 to 100 words. Uh, so with this class, so let's see what we're going to do in this class song. So uh, we're going to just pass the attributes, the title and the artist, and this is going to be strings. So what this title is going to be, it's going to be a title of the songs. And then we're going to use artist, and then it's going to be the name of the artist who performed the song. All right. And the next song, so it's going to be a reference to the next song in the playlist. So let's see how we can implement that. So here, so it's just simply going to define init function and then we're going to pass in, we're going to pass three parameters, parameters over here. We're going to pass self, title and artist. So, and simply we're going to define this variable over here. We're going to say self.title is equal to title and then self.artist is going to, is equal to artist. And the next variable that we're going to define over here is next song. And simply when I keep it, uh, the value of this particular variable, we're going to keep it none right now because we only want to initialize this particular variable that's going to reference to the next song in the playlist. And the next song, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to define the playlist class to represent a playlist. So what this playlist class playlist is going to do over here, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a class that's representing a playlist of the songs. So the attributes that we're going to use here is that head and tail. So that we have already seen in the slides so which is one of the most important thing in the link list. So what this head is going to do is that it's going to be us. It's going to be a reference to the first song in the playlist. And the tell is going to be a simply reference to the last song in the playlist. And then we are also going to create a, another variable and that's going to be a current song. And that's going to reference to the song currently being played or none if the playlist is not currently playing. All right, let's see how it can, we can implement that. So simply we're going to define any function and we're passing self in it. And then we're simply going to uh, define this variable. So we, what we're going to do is that we're going to say self.head and we're just giving it to none because we're just going to initializing uh, the head over here. 
and then that's going to reference to the first song in the playlist and similarly the tell is going to reference to the last song in the playlist and then we are creating new variable over here is current song we're going to keep it to done and then we are say say like it's going to reference to the currently playing song in the playlist and the next thing that we have we're going to do is that we're going to you you're going to create a method to add a song to the end of the playlist so basically uh the we use, so we're going to use head and tail that can e that we can use use to manipulate uh the items at the end of the playlist or at, at, at the end of the list so basically that's that's the use of using these heads and tails all right so here we're simply going to define add song function uh method over here and then we're passing uh self title and artist over here so let's see how we what we're exactly going to do over here so we're simply going to add a new song to the playlist with the given title and the artist and this is going to be our argument so we're going to pass our title and the artist and both are going to be strings and then i'm going to highlight all right so let's see how we can implement that so we're just going to uh, we're just gonna creating a object over here, and we're gonna say new song is equal to song, and then we pass like title and the artist, and then we say if set or head is none, if there is no song in the playlist, and if the playlist is empty, then we say what we're gonna do is that we're gonna call it a new song, and then we're gonna just setting it by uh, writing self dot head is equal to new song and we have to also do that for tell. Then we say self dot tell is equal to new song, and then set tell to the new song over here and otherwise else we say set the next song reference to the current tell to the new song and then we say self dot tell dot next song is equal to next song and then self dot tell is equal is going to be a new song and the new song will they will be called so in the here exactly what we are going to do is that we're just setting the tell to the new song all right and then next method that we have to do is that we have to create a method to play a current song so here we are simply going to uh, this method is simply place the current song in the playlist and if there's no currently playing song then the first song in the playlist will be played all right so let's see how we can implement that as well so we're gonna say like self dot current song is none then it's gonna call self dot head and what this self dot head is gonna be so we're simply gonna print playing a self current song title and self dot current song dot artist and then it will print the it will just print the title and the artist name. All right. Next thing that we have to do is that now we have we have uh, created a method that will play the current song. So now we have to create a method that will play the next song in the playlist. So what this is going to play the next song in the playlist, and the arguments are going to do none. It returns will be none, and then we, it's going to be very simple. We are use if simple dot current song is none if you, if you have no uh, no song in currently playing play, playing list so what we're going to do is that we're just going to say self dot current song is equal to self dot current song dot next song so we're just passing we are just calling the next song over here so this is another method that will print the playlist so it's going to be very simple again that will only print the title and the artist of each song in the playlist so if self dot head is none if there is no song in the playlist and the playlist is empty so what it's gonna it's gonna print playlist is empty and then it's gonna return to current current is equal to self dot head and then we start the head of the playlist and then while current is not none that means if there are still songs in the playlist it's gonna print the current song so it's simply gonna print current dot title by current dot artist and then simply gonna so we, so we can simply print the title and the artist name over here so finally, we have to create a playlist, and to define the playlist, we have to we are just pa passing playlist is equal to playlist, and we, here we are adding the song store playlist. So it's gonna be a really great part over here. So we are simply passing, we are adding the song store playlist, and all these songs are very famous. So let's see how we can do what how we are doing it. So just do playlist dot add song, and then we're passing the song name and the uh, by artist. So it's, it's a stairway to heaven, Violet Zeppelin. Then we are adding another song that is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. And then we are adding another song that is Hotel California, The Eagles. And then we are adding November Rain by Guns and Roses. All right, so how we can play this first song? So to, and we just simply 
calling uh, the methods that we have created. We are just calling playlist start play, and then songs will start playing. And then to skip to the next song, we call the next function that, that the next method that we have created, and then next song will play. And then the other at the end, we are just printing the playlist, and then we just calling the method print underscore playlist that we have created over here. All right, and I think that's it. So I think you have we have seen how we can add a, a link list using heads, uh, head and tail over here in our uh, code, uh, and we can easily manipulate and add next song. So using the next uh, song function um, in this link list. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you have any doubt, uh, I would love to help you. Thank you so much.